lovely humans and welcome back to my channel. I'm in my car wearing the jumpsuit so you know what that means. It's wedding day. It is Erica and Rob's wedding day. They actually found me through YouTube and have become very, very dear friends. So we have waited for this day for so long. I can't believe it's finally here. We're at the gorgeous Callaway Wineries in Temecula. Y'all, this is like beautiful. Yesterday at the rehearsal, it was so windy though that we're, we're rocking the pony today. Um, to keep my hair up out of my face. I um, got my chai because um, I'm basic and I need it. Uh, so now I'm just gonna gather up all of my stuff, go kind of take a little bit of a walk around. I am about 10-ish minutes early. Um, and I'm gonna meet up with my assistant for today, Courtney, who is amazing. I cannot, I'm so excited to work with her again. So I'll check in with you guys in a little bit, but I figured I'd start the video here in the car in a more controlled environment because it is a bit windy out there. So so I'm, and I don't have like a, a muffler for my camera. So <laughs> let's hope this goes well. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is so cool. I love barrel rooms. And the sales. Mm. Yeah. I'm joined here by Courtney with, what's your company? Court and Company Weddings and Events. Court and Company. Yeah. You're so cute. Oh, thank you. I so try. <laughs> we've actually worked together before, yeah. and so she's going to be my assistant for today. I'm super pumped about it. I'm super excited. I know. It's, it's going to be a great day. So we mm -hmm. just got into the reception space. It's gorgeous. It's basically set up. The only thing that's missing is um, table numbers. So the bride's aunt has those, and we're not quite sure what the layout is, so I have to kind of hunt through my inbox to see if I can find that. And then I'm gonna show Courtney the lay of the land, where everything is, and I, of course, will take you guys along with me, because that's what vlogging behind the scenes yeah. is. Yay, sounds good. You're great. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm just not gonna get lost. Like, she's gonna show me where to go. It's been a day already, <laughs> you guys. It's just been an adventure. No it's like 15 minutes just to put our walkies on. Oh yeah, I'm struggling. And, by, okay. and by our walkies. I mean mine. <laughs> my ears are weird. <laughs> With a venue like this, because it is so all-inclusive, they do catering, they do rentals, their coordinator, Leah, is so hands-on. Sorry, there's a wine tour right next to us, and yeah. they're enjoying themselves, and I am here time. for it. I'm here for I'm, it. Yeah. Um, but there's nothing for us to do currently. So I'm walking around, I'm showing her the space. We'll probably sit down and go over the timeline. Maybe we'll go into the barrel room and do that. Yeah. Um, Cause yeah, air conditioning. It's nice and cool. Yeah. <laughs> we like that. Yep. Um, the bride actually isn't gonna be here until 345 and the groom and his men should be arriving right about now-ish. We already met one of the photographers and one of the videographers. So they'll be shooting um, all the guys getting ready stuff now. Um, and then the girls will be here around 345. So we've got like an hour and a half till the girls are here. Kill. Yeah. Yep, we got some time. Mm -hmm. So let's go into the barrel room look over the timeline and make ourselves look busy. Yeah. Okay, I'm just doing a super brief check-in. A um, couple things are missing. We can't find fans for the ceremony. Um, there's a little miscommunication. I, I didn't realize we were setting out the welcome sign, so we're doing a little bit of a scurry to get that stuff set up. I've got, I think, the signs for the ring bearer um, and the sign that says, please sign our guest board. That needs to go out there to the ceremony as well. And right now, it's 417. So we're technically supposed to be lining everybody up in the next three minutes. That's not happening yet. So we might be a teensy bit behind, but last I checked, we didn't have enough guests either. So. Just a quick check-in. I'll probably see you guys in a little bit. It's go time. We're a few minutes late, but we're in Temecula and traffic is terrible. Um, you can't see me at all because I'm backlit, but I gotta keep moving. So I'm gonna go get the groom and the groomsmen and get them lined up. You're gonna be the very first chair on the right-hand side. On the right-hand side, oh. so the side closest to us.
ceremony so I can talk a little bit louder. Just checked in with the event captain. I don't even know if you can hear me, it's so windy. And we might have to cut cocktail hour. We might have to make it a little bit shorter because we started so late, but the couple didn't do a first look. So if we started too late or like cut cocktail hour, they're gonna have less photo time. So right now it's about finding the balance between those two. Um, so I'm hoping we can power through family photos really, really fast and bridal party really, really fast. I just need to let the photographers know we're gonna have to cut that time short, but the hard part about right now is balancing the needs of all the different vendors. So the chef is gonna wanna serve things at the appropriate time because they've been cooking all day. Um, so that ideally they'd wanna shorten cocktail hour. The photographers are not gonna wanna shorten cocktail hour, neither are the videographers because they need the time to get the appropriate footage. So it's that dance. So I just spoke with Adam, the event captain. Um, he's gonna warn the chef. We might have to push it a little bit. I'm gonna warn the photographer and, and videographer teams to let them know that we've gotta hustle as fast as we can. So we'll see what we can do. Oh, hi. <laughs> Welcome to Galloway. Bienvenido. <laughs> um, so I was just updating the vlog because we started to wait. I let Adam know. Okay. For the chef, because I'm concerned about the temperature of the food. Yes. The chef is not going to want to push that. I actually had a quick question for yeah. you. So usually I grab them right after ceremony mm -hmm. and whisk them off to the uh, bridal suite, mm -hmm. just so we can like get them out of the way so nobody kind of bombards them. Mm -hmm. um, and then I can bring them back for pictures. My concern is already because the chef is going to want to cut cocktail hour and they haven't done first look, they haven't done anything. That's what I'm saying. I could just grab them, take them to the bridal suite. We can move all the guests, keep family here. The way we practice was back. for them to come over here in the bridal party to protect them, like form a wall around them. We can do that too. Just because so they're closer to I'm going. I'm down with that too. Okay. So we'll have them come over here. I also already, like I looked at your timeline. I told catering that dinner would probably be at 6 <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Love you very much. You guys I come love to when we have amazing planners. I love when we have amazing <laughs> venues. Yeah, no, it's gonna be good. So we'll make it. So the ceremony is still happening, but I'm gonna check in on the dessert table. Hey. Hello. 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 <laughs> oh my. We still have some more. Goodness. Yes, what? Is that going in a YouTube video? Too? Yes, it's going in a YouTube video. <laughs> Do you want to be famous? famous no. Yeah, you're famous. Look at. Oh, look how well it's showing up in the light. light. The photographer was amazing when I told them that we had to shorten our time. It's really well alleviated by the fact that we have sunset photos. Um, the biggest issue now for me is to figure out when to feed the photography and videography teams. They typically eat either before everybody else does or while the couple eats. That's the best for the timeline situation. But given the fact that we're gonna do grand entrance and then probably yank the couple almost immediately to go back out for our sunset photos, we need to figure out when to feed them. So I'm gonna go check in with the videographer to see how much time he needs left for family photos, bridal party photos, and then the portrait session. So it goes extended family and immediate family, bridal party, portrait session, typically. But our portrait session is probably gonna be super short or non-existent and they may just do it during sunset time. So I'm gonna go check with the photographer and see how much more time he needs. Okay, I just have to say for the record that this photographer is a champion. He's a champion among champions. Right now, he's getting the whole bridal party done in like five minutes. So like, killing it. I'm gonna leave his information down below because I adore him, the champion that he is. Perfect, just like that guy, he would give an arm right there. Uh, Rob, you know, pop right there. Back up with me, guys. Yeah. All right, so still looking at the camera, guys. One, two, three. Right now, it is... 613, the photographer and videographer want to steal them at 620. So we've got to get people in there and we've got to get the couple out. So they're literally doing grand entrance and then coming straight back out. It's gonna feel a little bit weird pacing wise, um, but hopefully we can get them really quickly. We just need to get guests in there. That's basically all that needs to happen right now. Yeah, I'm a little stressed. <laughs> golden hour it actually wow. looks good wow it looks so good right now <laughs> we do not look that good in nope. person okay i'm scooting back because my head is larger than yours because you no, keep that's stepping good. back i like <laughs> i don't want my head to be so big I, no i don't look mine is still larger than yours and i'm right next to you 
I'm so stop scooting back. <laughs> I'm going Pinhead. too hard. <laughs> Every time you're not even <laughs> up. So right now they are out, the couple's out doing their portrait session slash sunset photos. I've said this 17 times in this vlog that photography, the photo video team, they're champions. They're no, they fantastic really are good, though. and kind hearted. We always want to respect people's crafts. We always want to respect the yeah. chef needing to serve at the appropriate temperature. We always want to respect the, pho the photographer. Yeah getting all the shots that they need to get but sometimes we just have to be the bad guy to communicate between yeah. everyone so to have a considerate chef to have a photographer who goes look i get it timelines suck and sometimes they run behind they've been so nice they've been so, <laughs> so nice. nice so the couple has not eaten yet um and neither of any of the vendors so when the couple does come back we're gonna rush them straight to food yeah. um oh in fact i should probably get in there in case they come back soon because um, we want to have their plates done for them. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so they don't have to go through the buffet. <laughs> yeah. Because her dress is not going to be bustled when she comes in for dinner. Uh, okay. But we'll need yeah. to be bustled before first dance. So we'll do that. This, we'll get on that. This timeline is... <laughs> We're thinking out loud here. We gotta, yeah. This timeline's all over the place. It is. But it's working out. It's good. It's, yeah. Thanks for being positive. See, I freaking have the best clients in the world. Erica wanted to get a shot of her running in the vines. Like, I can't wait for this footage to come back. It's gonna be so good. She's such a boss. I love her. Yeah. Look at that shot, dude. Oh, girl. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave her there because honestly, I just feel like a creeper. Just standing there watching them photograph her. So I'm heading back up. I radioed Courtney so we could get the two sisters of the bride out and ready to bustle her dress um, so she can go inside and just eat some dinner. Catering is taking a little bit longer than at least I thought, but it's totally fine. That that's actually kind of works out in our benefit vendor-wise so we can, we can get our meals in. Um, but let's see what time is it because I'm doing, I'm going to try to do better. It's seven o'clock. Um, grand exit is in two and a half hours. So we're not gonna have a whole lot of dance floor time. You got burrs on you now. <laughs> I know. Oh, they're sharp burrs too. Welcome to my family. Hey, how's it going? I'm empty, so not so good. Oh no. We're trying. Oh no. <laughs> okay, we gotta get you bustled so you're not gonna be empty anymore. Mother. Toasts have officially started. We're on the second toast. We're a saucy 30 minutes behind, like consistently 30 minutes behind. But luckily we have photo and video through the end of the evening. So at this point, once we get through toasts, first dance and all the other perfunctory dances, we should be pretty good. And then it's just a matter of cake cutting, bouquet cutting. Yeah, I'm not worried about the schedule from here on out. And yeah, th that's all the check-in I have for now. Hopefully we can get this couple to the dance floor because I know they're itching to hang out with people. <laughs> Cutting's done. This has been like the shortest. Oh, like so fast. So now they're done with that. It is 
What time is it? Help me. 907. 907. We have 23 <laughs> minutes. So we are gonna go around and collect um, their centerpieces are in wooden boxes. Um, and those boxes are spoken for, but anyone can take the flowers out. So we're gonna go around and collect the boxes and generally look busy for the next 23 minutes. Yeah, there's not that much. No, there's not Which much. Is good, like, they did barely any DIY. I mean, there's like there's nothing. So yeah. there's we have no yeah. teardown. Yeah. Also, they had <laughs> a coffee shake here. They had a coffee vendor. It's so good too. Like you wouldn't think so, it's but it's. I mean, maybe it's the time of night. I don't know. It's been a long day, but it's good. And we're just jamming. <laughs> there's nothing better than this. <laughs> Okay, oh, my ponytail has gone directions. The Lord did not <laughs> intend. <laughs> that was a very smooth teardown. They had little oh to gosh, no so DIY. Easy. We had nothing to do. Literally nothing. The hardest thing we had to do was um, I collected, or uh, we collected, the cake stands for the baker. Oh yeah, that wasn't even. No, there was that wasn't even that. hard. <laughs> I think we just, okay. you just get so used to doing these weddings that have so much DIY that yeah. when they don't, you're like, we don't know what to do with I'm ourselves. forgetting something. Yeah. Again, we had an amazing time with the staff here at Callaway. So great. The photographers and videographer teams were amazing. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10 recommend. I'm a little biased. That dessert table was clutch. It was so good. It was, it so was good. literally gone. It was gone. Before cake cutting. Yeah. We're like, oh, oops. Okay. Before cool. dancing even began. Yeah. It was gone. It's awesome. So high five. Yay. Job well done. And uh, be sure it. to like this video if you want to see her Do come it. back. Yeah, please. I'd love to come back. Resting on you liking this video, gosh. Don't screw it up. Don't. <laughs> so I'll probably do a proper close out at home, and until then. Yeah. Good night. Bye. It was nice seeing you. <laughs> Hi. I'm finally home. I made it. It is before 11 o'clock. I don't even know what to do with myself because I'm home so early. This is fantastic. Um, so one of the things that I like to do with my assistants when we end an event, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is end of event hair, um, is to do a quick debrief of what went well, what didn't go well, what we could improve on, um, where there are basically areas for growth. And I love to do that after each and every single event. And I touched on this a little bit earlier in the video. Um, but we started a, like almost 30 minutes late today and I hate doing that. And for a majority of the early part of the event, I was like, what happened? What went wrong? What did we do? How did that happen? Um, and then it dawned on me as Courtney and I were talking a little bit later that I had her count the guests about eight minutes before we started, seven minutes, less than 10 minutes before we started to see how many people we had there. And out of the 135 guests that we were anticipating, we had 60, 60, 60 in the ceremony space. Um, and that's obviously not including the 18 members of the bridal party, so that would have bumped us up to 80, but that still means that we were missing 50 people. Really and truly, we had to wait. Like, we couldn't start the event because we were missing a generous portion of guests. Um, so that's definitely something to keep in mind for your event. If you are having it in a location that's known for having traffic, um, such as a downtown area, or obviously we were in Temecula, and a couple of the roads nearby have, are like notorious for having bad traffic and had construction being done on them. I spoke to another guest who said they sat in traffic for two and a half hours for a drive that's supposed to take an hour and a half. So it was just one of those days where we just didn't have enough guests to start the ceremony. And then as you saw throughout the video, it was like a domino effect because we started 30 minutes late, then it created a chaos with the photo portion of the evening. Um, family photos took way longer than we anticipated, which is fine, there's nothing wrong with that. Those are precious memories that we definitely wanna make sure we're capturing. But family photos ended up taking 35 or 40 minutes when we had kind of allotted for them to take 20. So we then ran into a situation where we had to get a little bit creative. The couple had to work with us a little bit to make sure that we got all of the photos that they wanted. They didn't do a first look. So when we got ready for grand entrance, they had no pictures together, none None at all like none of just the two of them and it was right at sunset. So we had this 
timing situation where we're like, we have to get grand entrance going and then pull them immediately to go take photos, otherwise we're not gonna have anything. Um, so it's in moments like this that it's great to have a system of really good vendors in place just ready for go time. Because we have the pressure of needing to get photos for the photographers, needing video for the videographers, but we also have the temperature of the food to be concerned with. Because no one wants warm salad or cold chicken. So you kind of saw that unfold throughout the event of the, this tension of timeline and how do we rectify this, how do we remedy this, and luckily the couple was so chill about it. They were like, it's okay, we'll do whatever we need to do um, to go ahead and make this work. So that's just something for you guys to kind of keep in mind. If your timeline gets off, that's okay. There were circumstances beyond our control today. But one of the best things we had going for us was their attitude about it. They were like, you know what? We want these photos. So having everyone be really flexible with the timeline because we were in a true pickle. So it ended up being a beautiful event. Obviously there's tons of dancing footage, even though they only got about an hour on the dance floor, we ended up having a wonderful event and it really had to do with attitudes. Everyone's attitudes. The venue coordinator, Leah, is amazing. The photographers and videographers, they're like, we just gotta get these shots, we're gonna do it, we're gonna make it happen. The DJ was flexible with us, all because it was just one of those, there's nothing we could do. There's nothing we could have done, we couldn't get guests to get there any more quickly. In fact, Almost an hour after the ceremony started, we still had guests arriving. Like that's how much traffic we had. And I don't say that to scare you, that we've never had anything like that. It's never been that chaotic. So it's not like this is a frequent thing that happens, but if it does happen at your event, just it's all about your attitude. You are getting married today and that is all that matters. And that was definitely Erica and Rob's perspective today. And I'm so, so honored that they, that Erica saw my YouTube videos and was like, yeah, like let's take a chance on this chick. And they did and it was, oh, I'm gonna treasure that couple forever. Like they're, they're the type that like, they're, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be lifelong friends. They're just gems, they're just gems. And now I've been ranting for about seven minutes. So hopefully I'm gonna cut this down in editing. But I felt like it was some important information to leave you with and that hopefully I can start implementing at the end of these videos of like, here's what went well, here's what didn't go well. Um, so you guys can see that things go wrong at weddings all the time. Like I show you some of the stuff in the behind the scenes footage, but today's timeline was, it was a tight one and it was difficult and there's lots of running around back and forth. In fact, I'm not confident in the footage that I got today. I don't know what today's video is gonna look like um, because it just required so much of my brain power that I didn't grab my camera as often. But that's my job as a wedding planner. I am a wedding planner first and a YouTuber second. So hopefully it came together as a cohesive video and hopefully we all got the opportunity to learn something from it. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, like this video, subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks for the modern day bride. And hey, if you like behind the scenes videos, like this one. Let me know that you want to see more of these in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!